obviously whatever happened in the 1960, the 1979, 1990 was not giving the reward and the effect that was expected. And therefore, yet again, in 2000, we come across education for all once again at the United Nations. And what this says is that by 2015, it gives you 15 years to make sure that children, particularly girls in difficult circumstances and those belonging to the ethnic minorities, have access to and complete free and compulsory primary education. So look at this now. We are talking of the developed world, okay? In 2000, giving 15 years to make sure that girls receive primary education only. That's where the target stops. And this is 2014 already. Next year will be the last year and we'll see where we are. Pakistan is far, far behind in achieving this target. But imagine if this target is set in the developed world, the developed world itself also thinks it is not easy to achieve this. And so giving 15 years to their countries to make sure that all girls receive a compulsory free primary education is tough target to meet for Pakistan especially when you see this as a strong target in the developed world. As we turn the millennium, as we enter the 21st century, we are still looking for 15-year targets to make sure that our girls receive quality primary education. We are still talking about eliminating gender disparities in primary and secondary education by 2005 and achieving gender equality in education by 2015. So 25, we are looking at five years to provide equal opportunities, equal facilities, equal standards, the same quality of teachers, and then giving 10 years to make sure that girls also receive the same quality education. This is a tough target. If the developed world needs to set this target for itself, we need to set a much more stringent and tougher target for ourselves. We are way, way behind the 2015 target in Pakistan. Then, of course, there was the Millennium Declaration at the United Nations again in the same year 2000, at the turn of the century. And we're going to look at two goals particularly that this declaration set. Goal two of the Millennium Declaration was ensure primary education for all. See, we are still talking only of primary education. We haven't moved to secondary, college, university, professional education. There is disparity at the lower end unless that disparity is met and overcome we will not be able to move ahead. Goal three, promote gender equality and empowerment of women. We want the girls and boys to receive the same education, to follow the careers of their dreams, and to become what they want to be. How do we empower women if we never provide them with quality education? Empowerment will not happen if our women remain illiterate. Empowerment will happen when women can pick up and say, here we are standing next to you and here we want to move together with men and women working together towards the common good of the country. Again, at this United Nations Millennium Declaration, 2015 is set at a target for all boys and girls to receive a complete free primary education and equal access for boys and girls. Both, both sexes should get the same quality education by 2015. And to promote gender equality and the empowerment of women as effective ways to combat poverty, hunger, and disease. Because with education, 
you can get better jobs, you can work, you can start your own small micro businesses and so poverty can be eliminated. When there is more money coming in, there is more food on the table, there is better quality of food on the table, hunger is eliminated. And when more money comes in and you get better quality food, diseases and sickness are abated. So, if women will be allowed and permitted to get equal access to education by 2015, obviously next year these people will be meeting again and setting another target depending on how many countries have met the target to what extent.